X-rays were discovered by accident, and they were expected to be a fun, albeit short-lived, scientific novelty. In the 1890s, Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen was working with cathode rays. He knew that these rays could make a fluorescent screen glow, and he started to wonder whether or not these rays could actually penetrate through a material to still make that fluorescent plate glow. So he covered his entire cathode ray setup in cardboard, and then when he turned it on, he saw a plate of barium platinicide across the room glow. This was at odds with all of his results about cathode rays up to that point, because the plates were really far away from his setup. How was it possible that something was happening with these cathode rays to make a plate clear on the other side of the room glow? So he started digging into this radiation, which he called X radiation for lack of a better name. And he realized it didn't behave like normal light. It didn't reflect and it didn't refract, but it could move through things like wood and aluminum. He didn't know what to make of it, so he ended up taking pictures of objects inside metal boxes and the bones in his wife's hand. The initial response to these x-rays was that it was fun, but ultimately just a novelty. It was only a year later that physicians started using x-rays to actually look at patients' bones for medical diagnoses. 